So the Upanishad says this, so when she keeps her body straight with the three sections erect and draws the senses together with the mind into her heart, a wise yogi shall cross all the frightful rivers with the boat consisting of her image of the self. So there's different ways of thinking about the uh, keeping the three sections vertical, like the Upanishad says. So the integrity between your three main body masses. And the spotlights is a, is a more uh, nuanced and subtle way to do it, but very powerful because it, it helps you turn your center into a pillar of light. So we'll review those surfaces, right? So you're identifying this series of horizontal surfaces at various levels of your body. Okay, so the first one, and you lay, put your hands on these uh, with me. Okay, so you've got the, the fontanelle, so the very top of your head, the flat spot. And that surface area, it's like a small, like a quarter or something. You're imagining that as a spotlight. Okay, then your palate goes down to the next level. That's a, that broad dome-shaped uh, area of your roof of your mouth. That's a spotlight that shines in two directions. So up and down. Okay, and then down to the, go to your collarbones and find the first rib circle. So the, the, in the middle of that is a small space. You're imagining that as a spotlight. Okay, and then down your rib cage, feel, take it from the mid back, from your spine and wrap around and find your floating ribs. Okay, and so the, the, the rib cage there, it's shaped like a kidney shaped cheerleader's cone. Okay, that's facing down. So the, the, the first rib circle is the, the mouthpiece of that cone. And the bottom outlet is the, the widest part. Okay, and so you're imagining the, the area in between the rib cage, that circular area, the bottom outlet, as a spotlight. Okay, then your pelvis is a basin, a bowl, right? And the rim at the very top, that is uh, the, the part in, in the middle you're imagining as a spotlight. Then your pelvic floor is a diamond shape consi consisting of the pubic bone, your tail, the tip of your tail, and your two sitting bones. Okay, that's the spotlight. And then, so you experiment. Like, uh, watch, look at me as you do it. So when you tip your head, th those spotlights are shining in different directions, right? And if you round your back, then, or you lift, or you open your chest, or you tip your pelvis. Okay, so everywhere along the chain, you've got this uh, information about where you're situated in space. Okay, and so, and your job is to make those spotlights level and organized right over each other in a vertical column. Okay, <clears throat> a very nice device to keep you oriented right in the center of your body continuously because it's a nature of perpetual meditation you're involved in. 